your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by East Coast Roofing, Siding and Windows, offering the best roof warranty in the business. Our warranty covers 50 years of materials, 25 years of workmanship and leak-free guarantee. Call 609-646-1444. I'll tell you what guys, today was wonderful in every essence of the word. Sunny skies, we continued that idea of lower humidity, even though the dew points technically spiked up a little bit over where we were yesterday, but I think it was still very enjoyable, pretty much right on par with where we should be. So a typical summer afternoon throughout our area, 84 was our high, 97 the record for this date in 1963. Currently still holding on to the 80s in Marlton, as well as Media and Lancaster and uh, Westchester, low to mid 80s there, but we're dropping down into the 70s for interior South Jersey at this hour. So the dew points are gonna continue to be on the rise as we push into tomorrow up near 70 degrees, same thing on Saturday. And in conjunction with this, we're also gonna be watching the heat pile in on top of that. So it's gonna become very uncomfortable out there, unfortunately. Some thunderstorms are possible this weekend. I'm thinking later Saturday, early Sunday, it's not going to be a washout, but if you have backyard barbecues and uh, pool parties and all that kind of stuff, you'll want to pay attention to what the timing is looking like on all of this. I think for the most part, we are good to go, though. 91 on Thursday, 95 on Friday, 92 on Saturday. If we can do this, if we get three consecutive days, 90 or above, we are likely going to see our first heat wave of the summer season. Quite a bit cooler at the beaches. You're not going to get to 90 there, but that's where you'll want to be to get away from it all because it's going to feel like it's over 100 degrees in some of our inland communities. Trenton 101, 100 on the mark in Marlton, 97 in Wilmington, 98 in Vineland, even Hamilton coming in at about 98 degrees. So you'll want to find somewhere that you can stay cool and relaxed. A few fair weather cumulus clouds coming through from time to time. Overnight, we'll likely stay in the mid and upper uh, 60s, some might stay around 70 as that humidity builds in. Tomorrow from start to finish, we're looking good. So at 11 o'clock in the morning, already climbing into the lower 80s, we keep that sunshine alive. And then here we go around 90 in the afternoon. We're dry, we're clear. The only issue is gonna be that higher level of humidity. So stars and clouds mixed tonight, about 63 mainland, 66 of the beaches. It's gonna to start to become very uncomfortable. Going into the day tomorrow, around 90 pretty much everywhere except for the beaches. A foggy start perhaps, partly to mostly sunny skies again in the afternoon. The Climate Prediction Center says, hey, yeah, most of that hot weather is going to stay down to the south and west over Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and Texas. We're right on the peripheral. I think we are not done with the cooler than average temperatures here or there. It's nothing substantial, nothing we can't handle, but it's something that you'll want to pay attention to, I guess. It's good for our electric bill, so I'm not really complaining. 92 and dry on Friday. Late day showers and thunderstorms possible Saturday. Early thunderstorms on Sunday. Cooler. Right now the holiday is looking pretty good.